Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Legends of Arcadia Genesis. Our party is gathered in Acropolis, having spent many days here trying to learn spells. Um, where have you been living in Acropolis? Where do you reside in your uh, days and nights? Well, how much is it to get a room at the tavern a night? Two silver a day. Room and board. Okay. But when I think about it, I guess I would have made my intention clear to Coco and Cola that I would travel with them since all my other options have failed miserably. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, and I just asked them if they know some place where I could stay in the meantime. Like, where are they staying? Are they all in the tavern all day? They have a cart that they bring, uh, that they travel in. It's a little covered wagon pulled by an ox. Uh, and they live in the cart. And they sleep in there as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, they just park it in the stables and they go and sleep in the cart because, you know, if you're only two and a half feet tall, then a covered wagon is a lot of space. You know, mm -hmm. you can fit like I two people that. end to end going horizontally. But I do, I could, I would be theoretically able to sleep in the stables that they've rented for the cart, right? in a corner somewhere. Sure. The stable owner might want to charge you some money for that, but... He could charge me, that's okay. I just don't want to hang out with people, I don't know. Ah, yes. Well, in that case, you can sleep in the stable. Like a nice. proper... Mesopotamian. Which, how, much do have... <laughs> how much do I pay for that? Uh, a, a copper a night? For the stable? Yeah. Okay. How long does it take them to leave? Like, two when weeks. are they heading out? Two weeks. So they will... Let's see. We started here. Then we went three days over this way. No, we spent two days getting to Acropolis. Then we spent two days... Well, a day in Acropolis. A couple days coming back. And then a night in the cave. And then a couple days back to Acropolis. And then... Probably like about a week and a half of spell learning, which will bring us week and a half here. Um, and then a couple more days until they're done. So we're going to be around to the 12th of April, year zero. The other gods that have joined the world are Martha and Womator. And um, God of Joy and Goddess of Life. You're... And um, yeah. are they familiar with that one? Goddess of Life, oddly familiar. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Why well, they say one day she will have a great cleric who dies terribly over and over again. Spoiler alert. I mean, there are a lot of clerics of Martha who <laughs> die. <sighs> uh, where are the lions? And eventually the gnomes are ready to head out with you. Although you'll hey, see. Gnomes are they halflings? They're into their gnomes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, although right, you will find sleep. that they are a little um, tired. It appears they have not been sleeping well <clears throat> in the last few days. And hmm. uh, they seem a little groggy and worse for wear. Mm -hmm. But I think you expect that from them. Not surprised. Yeah. And off you guys will go. So I'm going to have you roll me a bunch of encounters. Um, let's do Something. one. Is it roll two, high for encounters? Because we're on that. That's pretty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give me four D hundred or D one hundred. Two hundred and ninety nine in one ninety nine in there. Oh, we're looking so for. <laughs> uh, What's let's it see. Nineties, ninety six, ninety nine, ninety four. Oh my god. On your first day out of Acropolis, you will spot a, another wagon coming your way, being led by an oxen. It's got that rounded covered top and it is filled with gnomes and your gnomes and those gnomes will stop and they will chat for a while along the road, babbling Lovely. back and forth in Namish um, with lots of excited gestures. Uh, after the conversation, the other people who, who you meet decide not to head to Acropolis and turn their wagon around and accompany you in the other direction back to hearth home. I can ask uh, my gnomes, so I can be like, so why are you, why are they guys, why are they turning around? 
Oh, we fixed everything in Acropolis. Nothing there for them to do. Very nice. Mm-hmm. So we're, they're going to head back with us, and I don't know. We'll see what, what we come across. The next oh my roll. God. This is Snow White and the Little Gnomes. I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> you are not Snow White. God damn, Neil. Don't throw a poisonous apple at me. I'm going to take it personally. You were not Snow White in this encounter. Uh, let's see, in 85. The <laughs> there you go. There we go. Hmm. The next day, you will pass a wagon coming your direction as well. This one has humans in it, and they stop to talk to the gnomes real quick. Um, and they will speak in common so you can understand them. It appears that they are travelers who are looking for a place to call home. They've got a little family with them. It looks like mom and dad and then the like adult child and then two small children, an adult son and a young daughter, two young daughters. Mm -hmm. uh, and they ask the gnome about the gnomes about Acropolis. And uh, at some point they will notice you hanging out near the wagon or in the wagon or beside the wagon some sort of preposition the wagon and pause and take a look at you and the lead one will kind of call out roughly to you, hey you, a hey, human. Yeah. What do you know about Acropolis? Oh, uh, work to be found there? Good work for honest people. Hmm. Why do you have so many daggers strapped to your waist? I heard there are werewolves traveling the plains. I'm just prepared. Is Acropolis dangerous? The city itself? Oh no, it's the safest place in the entire valley. Safer than the rest of the valley? Oh yeah, by far. They look approvingly. Uh, well guarded? Yeah, can speak for that myself. Woo! He wiped sweat from his brow. Uh, and they will continue on their journey. Let's see. Next roll was a 99. There's a blue uh, dragon crossing the plane. Yeah, no. no, no, no. Um, you're, we have a fear stressed event. So while traveling, while uh, maybe resting mm. one night, some stuff gets shuffled about. And in the morning, as the ox is coming back to the cart, it comes and actually accidentally steps on your backpack. Tell us what is in your backpack okay. and we will see, and we'll make a saving throw for something at random to see if it is destroyed or not. Well, I think I wouldn't have the, the potion in my backpack because I know it's fragile, so I'd have that on my first anyways, like the uh, water breathing one. Mm -hmm. But I do have you know, a jeweler's kit, like uh, something you can make jewelry with on your way. Uh, sheepskin lined boots, with the, which I've taken off in the. Now that's getting warmer. A bedroll? Uh, and simple clothing. Well, I think most and of that you'd have to be. I also do have a. Um, what's it called? A. Um, goddamn, the thing you make fire with. Tinder kit. A tinderbox. Tinderbox. Yes, tinderbox. Okay, well, it looks like. Your bedroll would probably be what you were sleeping on. Uh, your simple clothing is what you wear, right? So that's not going to be in your backpack. Yep. It's pretty much just the backpack, the boots, and the jeweler's kit, right? Yep. Well, uh, roll me a d3. I don't have much stuff. No. It's all in your cave. Yep. It is your jeweler's kit. Ooh. Oh, damn. That's uh, expensive. Yeah, we're going to need to make a saving throw versus crushing blow. So roll me a d20 on a 10 or higher. Your, oops, so on a 13 or higher, your kit survives. On a 12 or less, it nope. breaks. It's broken. Yeah, God not only damn. is the box that holds it all together broken, but some of the actual implements within it are broken. Um, it'll cost half a jeweler's kit to repair it or to, you know, replace the broken bits. Lovely. But luckily, I'm with the gnomes who specialize in mending. Well, right? well, well. You do happen to be with the gnomes <laughs> who specialize in mending. If you were looking for somebody who mends stuff, then, you know, I'll just look at and look at my broken things that the ox stepped on. I'll look at them and, like, 
Oh my god, did we break that with our poor handling of the oxen? I am so sorry. Please hand that over. We'll see what we can do to fix this. <laughs> oh my god. I'll hand it I'll hand it over. Coco, can you believe that? <laughs> Terrible ox. Um, that did get that was very fortuitous for you. <laughs> with the best people to mm -hmm. have that accident with. Um, I guess jeweler's kit isn't really on the list of things, so they'll charge you uh, nothing for it, probably. They feel responsible, and they are sort of bored. They travel around fixing things for people because that's just really what they like to do, so this gives them something also to... Also, a challenge. I don't think they have that many jewelers around, so she can, like, as they fix it, she can explain yeah. what she usually uses it for. Um, they will, at the very end of it, you'll find that they couldn't fix the broken glass in the magnifying mm. glass. So that part will actually have to be uh, replaced that they cannot, yeah. but they'll like put together the rest of the wood or carve a new little box, tape up this thing with some like twine so that it will still work in the meantime. You can sort of manage it, um, but it'll still have to replace the glass. Yeah. I'll talk to Clara about it when I come back, wherever she gets her alchemist supplies from. Maybe okay. she has an idea who to talk to. And 46 is no encounter for your last day. And you guys will end up in Acropolis. Not Acropolis, Hearth Home. No, <laughs> you don't want to go back. <laughs> you end up in Hearth Home um, uh -huh. a few days later. The gnomes will part with the other gnomes who, you know, the two caravans all travel together. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they will leave you and go about town looking for things to fix. The other gnomes uh, hanging out in some of the villages nearby, Coco and Cola. Uh, hanging out in Hearth Home proper. That's a dumb name. Who would name them that? It's all on you. I blame someone mm -hmm. else. Anyone else. Yeah, sure. yeah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So, I was told that it is somewhere to the north and to the east, I think. Well, east coast Hearth Home, but then it should be north of Hearth Home where the lake is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I'll just inquire with the gnomes. I'll say, you say your family, like before they wander off, your family uh, North of Hearthome. visiting this. Mm -hmm. just, do I just walk straight into the plains and just keep going? As opposed to taking a turn at the fork in the road or what? It's just open plains. To be honest, Go I don't north. travel much by myself. I'm not much of a survivalist. You know, I'm not the berry eating kind of Stick to the oh. plains. Okay. And go north. And eventually you hit a lake. Okay, I'll figure I'll figure it out. Okay. Um gonna buy a new, I guess, bedroll in, in half home and then be on my way. A new bedroll? Yeah, because I left mine in the cave. Oh, bedroll. Oh, okay. Bed roll. Roll, Neil. Yeah, yeah, bed yeah. Roll. I just I thought you had your bedroll with you, is all. Yeah, I thought I did, but I didn't see it on my sheet. Was it my sheet? was on your sheet. Okay, you then listed it in your gear. Well. Never mind. <laughs> we we I'll talked about it. how it wasn't in your backpack because you were using it exactly. to sleep on. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yes. Cool. Okay, nice. and I'll just do I guess I'll do that. Survival of snakes. Gonna head out there making progress in the grasslands. Kind of weird Excellent. traveling all by yourself like that. Sure. Yeah. Why don't you give me two more D one hundreds as you travel across the plains on your own? Uh, and another night. <laughs> All right. So your first day. <clears throat> why don't you just move yourself one hex at a time in the direction you want to go? Um. Well, if it is a lake, I'm not safe. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you can move four hexes in a day as long as you stick to the planes. Okay. Two. Two. Three. Four. Excellent. And why don't we show this to the rest of the people so that they know what the hell we're talking about. There we go. Yep, so you travel one, two, three, four tiles up this day. Um, no encounters whatsoever. You know, wolves howling at night in the distance. Little bunnies hopping through the, the plains, the grasses. You did get 10 days worth of food, right? Yep. Right, so you would have had four days of food to hearth home. And then this is one of those days of food. So you have five days of food left. Mm -hmm. That would encumber you, right? Uh, I do have 
Let's see. When do you get encumbered? Oh, I, it does say how much I can have. Uh, yeah, you can 100. carry up to 40 pounds, and you're only carrying 7.24 right now. Uh, each uh, each dry ration is two pounds of food, so at 10 days worth of food would have been 20 pounds, so you would not have been encumbered. Okay. Not that you're actually counting the weight of any of your gear whatsoever. Well, no, I'm not counting it because... Well, I do have the simple clothing on, but the rest Yeah, but not. you didn't account for the weight of your daggers, or for your backpack, or for your bedroll. Is the backpack even in there, though? It's on the list. I mean, it should be in the pack instead of on your person, but you can do whatever you want with your character sheet. I don't care. Mm. That would weigh a pound. Boots would pay well, a pound. Okay, you still got weight. You still my... got weight. You're fine. Fine. <laughs> you don't have particularly much. Usually we have a donkey. I was not prepared for a solo session, to be fair. It's fine. Uh, okay. Excellent. Um, so you got food enough. We're even mm -hmm. going to add five dry rations that weigh two pounds each to your sheet. That. Look how good we're doing here. Second day of travel. Um, you rolled a 92 on the encounter list. Why don't you go ahead and move yourself some hexes up to four? Hmm. Hmm. Well, one. one. And now I'm just hitting hills? Yeah, you walk for following the river and end up in this, like, a, uh, like, a, um, you know, a bit of the hills stretch out this way, in this way, and you don't end up finding a passage through. Two, three, four hexes. Excellent. Um, and it is in the little... Um, late afternoon on this day that you're walking across the plains. Uh, what did we have for the encounter? 92. Yes, yes. Uh, this is a difficult crossing encounter. So as you are walking along this day, you come across what appears to be a dried river valley or ravine with particularly sh steep um, edges. Uh, it's maybe a 15 foot descent, but it's like really loose earth. Uh, and if you approach the edge, you get the feeling that it might give way beneath you. And then it would be a you know, 15 foot tumble down the hill into this rocky ravine below. Uh, and it will sort of impede. That somehow? You can walk along the ravine if you want. Yeah, um, but it will be a slow process and you'll eventually find your way around, but it'll cost you a hex of movement to get past it. Sure. That's that's fine. Okay. That's fine by me. Uh, then give me one more encounter check as we continue through the plains. Another D100. Seven. Oh, nothing this day. You walk around the ravine, move into the next hex that you were planning on, and go ahead and move up to two, up to three more. You come across mm. a river. You can't cross that river, I take it. It would be a encounter to cross the river. Uh, the river, if you are curious, flows uh, left to right. Flows to the east from the west. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, okay, if I try, okay, if I was to... I will mm -hmm. try to make it into this direction. Like, left-hand side. I'm traveling mm -hmm. this direction, but I'm traveling across the river, and in case there's somewhere is like a narrow way to make it across. You want to travel upriver, then? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and cross, or uh, move a hex. It's three hexes of the day, right? One... Nothing nothing yet, right? No, that's, I'm sorry, that's only your second. Yeah, this is your third. Nothing yet. No rivers, no lakes, or rivers, but no lakes. This is your fourth hex. And uh, here you will rest for the evening. The river comes no, I mean, from no two way to sides. Cross, right? Still, but no obvious hexes. crossing points. No, this is a, a nice wide river, maybe a hundred and fifty feet or so. And without a swimming proficiency, you'd need a bridge or a fording spot or something, which you find none of. Mm -hmm. um, mark off two more rations. You can rest oh. peacefully with no encounters, and roll me another d one hundred for your next egg. Well, I'm going to get in trouble because I won't have enough food to make it back if it keeps going. So I oh. guess... What, D100? D100. Anyone? Uh, 
You want me to move or? I do. Where would you like to go? One. Up to four. Two. And we'll stop right here as oh, you boy. spot a wagon uh, coming out of the woods. Headed this way. Okay. Right towards you. Uh-huh. Rumbling along the open terrain. Uh, and you can see that they have hit some sort of something off in the distance and have to stop. And the two diminutive figures hop out of their wagon and approach the wheels looking to fuss. Right. I'm going to... Well, let me think. They said they are werewolves, but they also said they are traveling through the plane somewhere. I have no idea where. Mm -hmm. Can I try to sneak up on the cart, or is it like all, all open planes? Like, it's is a there pretty wood open around? plane. There's no way to really sneak up on them. Maybe if you like okay. laid down in the grass and crawled towards them, but mm -hmm. but they also, that also crawl. means they would just be able to spot me whenever they passed. Like my chances of hiding here would be pretty slim. So I'm I'm mm. just gonna I'm just gonna holler to them, I guess. Mm -hmm. You call out to the creatures. They will pop their heads up and look around. And one of them will whip out some sort of like telescopic spyglass uh, and they will motion and chatter to each other at a distance where you can't make it out. And then eventually one of them will holler back. Hi! Are you guys in trouble? Do you need help with the car? Yes, please. Okay, I guess I, I guess I do approach, but I do have the silver, silver dagger by my, by mm -hmm. my side, just in and case. You will find a group of gnomes trying to repair the wagon wheel of their cart, which seems to have what been broken. What a relief. I haven't heard of wear gnomes so far, so that seems pretty good. Mm hmm You guys are pretty far out in the plains. We are coming from the great college nestled within the trees. It is fantastic over there. You have no idea. It's so amazing, but now we're on our way back to Hearth Home so we can meet up with the rest of our family for our reunion in a couple of weeks. Uh, what are you doing out here? Little fellow? I was looking for, did you say college? College, yes, the great college nestled within the trees. Ah, is that the one where Hegelar teaches? Why, yes it is. Do you know her? We just did some work for her. You see, she had to take over the room of a, 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 ooh, a man that had to get run out because he was incompetent. And um, there were all sorts of things that needed to be fixed in there. So we had to go about fixing all sorts of stuff. And she gave us some wonderful money and some great rewards and made some, some great food. Fantastic college there. Hegla is so smart, apparently. And everyone else is, um, you know, quite cumbersome and silly. And... Um, it's a fantastic place. That sounds lovely. I should maybe visit sometime. I haven't been there myself. I've only heard, you know, the great word of those great mm. people living there. Mm, so. mm -hmm. I was actually looking for the lake that borders the realm of the elves, but I think I might have gotten lost. I tried to cross the river somewhere, but I couldn't find a way, so I've ended up here. Don't need to cross the river. Just follow the river downstream. Oh, so it's to the. it is more to the east after all. Mm hmm Yep. Keep going east. This river should go straight as a curvy arrow, and uh, then you'll be at the lake. How many you know days do you think it takes me from here? In a wagon? Ooh, okay. Two days. I don't have a On wagon. I'm here foot. by foot. Three and a half? Two days? Hmm. Right. Do you know how to fix a broken axle? Because we know, but, uh, you see, we... Just got it replaced. Didn't bring any additional uh, boards with us. <sighs> we could walk back into the woods and find a mender to fix it. You know, there's a wizard in there who's got the mending spell. He could fix it for us right away. But, uh, you know, it's a little far for us to walk on foot. And our oxen is not particularly a uh, mountable creature. Um, you don't happen to be a traveling wizard who can mend things or a traveling woodsman who has a that can make an axle out of um, just what's lying around. I wish I was, but I'm really not. Oh. Hmm. How well, we'll find a way to fix forest. it then. Hmm? Wait, okay. What? How far in the, into the forest is this wizard? Oh, about a day. At the school. Oh, that's quite far as well. Are you guys going to be fine by yourself, just waiting, like, fixing things here? 
as I mean, we might get eaten by a monster, but I doubt it. We don't make particularly good meals, and uh, we have our methods of keeping ourselves safe. Don't worry about us. Might lose all of that's, our stuff, but we'll make it through somehow. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. Get a direction or two from you guys. You have enough for yourselves. Certainly. And they will pop into the back of their caravan and pull out some food for you. And you can buy rations at 20% above market price from them. Sure. How much is that? Uh, 60, 72 copper for uh, dry rations per day. And how many can I buy? Up to 10? They got a lot of food, and they don't eat very much. I'll just stock up some back at 10. So I have cool. You'd have been down, what, seven or something? Yeah, I had three, three rations there. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So I bought... Uh, like 504 copper, something like that? Oh. Five gold? You could just do five gold. They'll ignore the extra four copper. They're not too prickly uh yeah and then you've got two more hexes so if you want to head back the direction you came go for it that's what we're doing i guess great one, and then two. one more encounter check so you can follow the river all the way to the lake <laughs> I'm... and you get to the lake oh god no what problem. a travel they lied when i said you just go north and you'll make it there eventually i mean i guess it's true but not what i expected oh <sighs> Just walking through the plains. You'll be mm -hmm. fine. Okay. Fuck no. Mm. God damn. <laughs> There's nobody around to hear this, okay? No one likes my gnomes. No one ever likes my gnomes, you know? No, Make them I rhyme. Like, I like they cocoa hate and cola. They're fine. The rest of them, you know? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> All right. Uh, you <laughs> make it to the lake. Oh, finally. Oh, my feet are <sighs> killing me. Mm-hmm. And as you go to Fresh soak your air. dogs in the water, uh, who should be swimming in the lake other than your jolly lord and savior, Malchus himself, who uh, paddles his way towards the shore as you arrive? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> he shows up wearing a... Nothing, I think. Oh, Neil, please. Oh, God. I avert my eyes. That's fine. Yeah, avert your eyes. I would. Um, <clears throat> he comes out, puts his hands on his hips, and goes, Ah, nothing like the fresh air. Took you forever to get here, Nix. It's been weeks. What's taking so long? It's the gnomes, okay? They're not really good at giving directions. And I'm not very good at traveling the plains by myself. I was trying to get that invisibility spell, and I failed terribly. And I've been sitting in a tiny cart for days. Can you please stay in the water? Do I embarrass you? Yes. Yes, you embarrass me. Can you please stay in the water? Hold on. He, you can hear the sound of him like plucking grass, tall grasses out of the, the ground. And then a few moments later, he's like, all right, you can look. And he has a uh, woven or knitted. I don't know the technical term for this. Some sort of grass skirt that he can wear. And he like okay. swishes his hips and the, the grass is like whoosh, 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 <laughs> back and forth. And he kind of like does a little hip thingy. Is this better? Okay, much better. I appreciate it. <sighs> you know, so why did you make for me a crazy woods here? witch, you, just... you would expect to be a little bit more comfortable with the reality of the... The body, but fine, fine, it's fine. You wouldn't want to see your dad swimming naked in the lake, would you? I don't have a dad. It doesn't really apply. Don't can't comprehend your awkwardness at all. No sense of shame whatsoever. How did you bestow awkwardness on me if you have no idea what it is? Oh, it didn't come from me. No, Ponos did that one. I, I had him oh, come well. in and give like, a couple extra little spices here. Well, then blame it on him. Mm-hmm. Can tell you he definitely doesn't want to see you naked if that's a relief. Well, you know, turns out a little bit of suffering, really good for the general population. Just a little bit of uncomfortability. I don't think that's a theme you should bring back to Acropolis and, you know, put out there. Maybe that's more something you should keep in your thoughts, you know. Suffering? Yeah, not 
not a fan favorite. Of course, no one likes it, but it builds character. Okay, you know what else builds character? Trudging to the plains for days and weeks. Why are you here? I had to show you where the cave was. Right? It's a it's a huge Why didn't lake. You, just you could bring me. He like places a hand on your shoulder. Oh please, not not, not the touching. It's the journey that makes the difference. Oh, That's what I'm God. telling you. It's the journey, not the destination, Nix. You had to get here on your own if you wanted to appreciate anything. Okay. He stands Fine. beside you and looks out over the, the blue waters of the large lake. They stretch as far as the eye can see. The other side is completely lost to you. Um, is, are you sure this is a lake and not the ocean? I've been told there's a large body of water encompassing this island. No, 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 this is just a lake. Trust me. Okay. Yeah. You see, way, I mean, the horizon's a little bit foggy right now. See if one mm. of my sisters wants to clear that up for us. He shouts to the sky, uh, but the situation doesn't change. Like when it's not, when the, you know, the, the mist is gone from over there and the clouds are gone, you can see some mountains way deep into the elven territory, big mountains. Oh. It's a lake. There's woods. Elves. Yeah. And I bet trees. it's nice over there. Eh! It's kind of shitty. It's all perfect all the time. Nothing changes. Everyone's no, got happy homes. I guess you didn't homes. make that part. Fuck no! Those elves! Oh my god. They're the lamest, most boring creatures you'll ever find. They're... They're depressing. They live depressing oh. lives. Really depressing. Hmm. I see. Mm hmm Anyway, anyway, your cave, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's right here. Actually, it's not right here. It's you see that rocky outcropping that goes into the water a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go there, you go down in the water, go about, you'll find a cave. It's underwater. Okay, which part of the about is it like? It's the journey, Nix. Yeah, that's a quite, I mean, that's a lot of swimming to do. You know, all things considered, it's a huge lake. It's thereabouts. Do you want the magical dag? I can't just give them to you or just like take you to them. Then it's not a Fine. challenge, you know, it's a process. Fine. It's about what the people Ugh. do with their time. It's about how you get places, not where you go. Ah, <sighs> man, you guys. Okay, I guess I'll take a hike around the lake then. Do you want me to return here with the dagger or? It's underwater, you know, the the, the cave. You're not gonna be able to see it from above. Go in. Yeah, you can't but swim, there can are you? Some... you? I forgot There's... to teach you how to swim. I can't swim. We talked about that, right? I forgot. We did, we did. That was yeah. one of the first things I said when you said it's an underwater cave. How about you teach me, though? Great. Put your right arm forward. Okay. All right, now take it out. <laughs> put your left arm forward. All right, and you can take it out. That's gonna what you do. You're gonna you're gonna put your right arm in. You're gonna shake it all about. You're gonna put your left arm in. You're gonna shake it all about. You're gonna spin around. Whee! And that's what it's all about. You just. You just do the arms. I, you just do the arms. I just do the arms. You just do okay. the arms. So, Neil, I'm not under time pressure. Yeah. Theoretically. Yeah. So I guess I spend the rest of the day trying to learn how to swim. And Malchus will sit on the shore side and yell instructions at you. Um, and after yeah. an exhausting day of uh, practicing swimming, you'll probably get a little bit... I at least want to be able to do the dog paddle, right? You're not going to be a great swimmer, but at least where well, I don't drown immediately. Yeah, you, know? you can get comfortable enough being in water that you're not, that like you can take your feet off the ground and not immediately panic and freak out. Mm -hmm. And most mm -hmm. of swimming is just not drowning. Even if you can't cross a lake, being able to tread water or not freak is uh, the big deal here. Um, and when you're done yeah. with diving everything. Diving is a lot easier. Mm-hmm. 
And when you're done with everything, you will come out and find a very large meal prepared for you, uh, spread out on these like wonderful silk uh, cloths that like stretch out across the ground. And some little like wooden stumps have appeared out of nowhere that the food is placed on, but Malchus is still in his straw skirt that he's been wearing all day. <clears throat> uh, and he motions to you and the food and tells you to eat up because you're gonna need it for tomorrow because tomorrow you're going deep. What is uh, what is this supposed to be? Hmm? This? This right here? Baked gnome. I'm just kidding. You have to be I'm kidding just kidding. It's rabbit. Oh it's rabbit. You are it's a rabbit. terrible person. I'm not you're a terrible person. <laughs> you're awful. What are you How saying? Am I awful? That was fun. That is a terrible joke. That's you awful. said you hated the gnomes. I told you it was baked gnome. Oh I was playing it's off so of the things funny. you said earlier. It's not funny. Why are you doing this all the time? What do you mean? Oh baked gnome. It's great. Okay. Are you trying to make this into some kind of weird dad and daughter adventure? Is this why this picnic is here? No, sweetie. No, I'm here to help you because you're going to help influence the rest of the world for the rest of your life. And I want you to, you know, do well. I guess it is a dad-daughter thing. I just want the best for you. Oh, God. That's not fun. You know, it's okay. I'm... I don't mind too much being the least favorite one. I'm kind of okay with that. Who said you're my least favorite? What? Who told you that? <laughs> I mean, um... Is it not the truth? It's definitely not the truth. It's very far from the truth. Hmm. Well, I don't want to know who it is then. Keep it to yourself. I wasn't going to tell you, but it's not you. It's one of the other four. <laughs> I figured. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. Okay. I guess I, I'll I'll dig in to the gnome, not gnome feast. Yeah. Um, why don't you give me a series of strength checks at minus five until you pass them, and that'll be how long it takes you to learn to swim. Oh, my God. So just roll a 26 and just click that strength button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm working on it. How many times? until you roll a 26. There you go, one more day and you can swim. Look at that, Nyx, you've got a great teacher. He's here, he shows you the paddle, he shows you the stroke, he shows you the, the kicks, he shows you the, the breath holding thing, and um, relatively quickly you pick it up. It might be because you spend all night dreaming about drowning over and over and over and over and over and over again, but you know. Terror helps you figure these things out. Uh, if Malchus were to run a uh, a gym, it would be the gym where people chase you around with chainsaws so you can like keep running after people uh, chase you, you know, to get your better okay. times, keep your cardio up. That's the sort of gym he'd run. Neither here nor there. Uh, but a day later, I guess, you have, I wouldn't say mastered swimming, but you're good enough that you can swim now. We'll just say. Mm -hmm. Very nice. well done, Nix. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two Thanks, days Dad. of swimming lessons. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't just push me in, you know? So it's, it's good. Good on Malchus. Oh, Great. Okay. You ready? Well, I guess you we're ready going... for the terrors of the deep? Sure. You're going to face a dreaded challenge built specifically for you that will be yeah. specifically difficult for you to overcome. Two challenges. Yeah. Two challenges, okay? Wonderful. Yeah. The first one is the fun one. Oh. Second one is the hard one. Okay, fine. I'll see you when I see you. He gives I'll you chug a, my potion, a wave, I guess. You chug your yep. potion. Yeah. And uh, dive into the depths with a big sploosh. And descend into the water. And see little fishies passing you here and there. The sound of the wind above vanishes. The warmth of the light on your shoulders goes away. Uh, you can hear the strange gurgling sounds that come from the lake. 
grasses near the shore give way to sort of this muddiness as you get deeper and deeper, looking for a cave near the area that he talked about. Um, you're not bringing your backpack swimming, right? Because that would just get oh. in the way. Are yeah, you bringing your five bring, daggers? Um, am I bringing five daggers? I think I'm bringing two. I'm bringing a silver one and a normal one. Okay. And your spell components? Mm, I would bring my deck of cards with me, yes. How um, do you keep the deck of cards from getting wet? Well, it is in a leather satchel per se. I'm not sure if it would be something that suffers from dampness because it's like a magical foci, right? Like the cars in themselves are kind of magical. So I'm not sure if, like, okay. if a simple, if if water would simply damage it at all. In that yeah, sense. Well, we'll find out later then. Um, I sure guess you enough. would just risk it, assuming it wouldn't do anything for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Soon enough, you come across an underwater cave. It looks like it's been here a thousand years, but you're pretty sure Malchus just made it for you right now, just so that you'd have something to go and do. Um, and you can swim in. I'm gonna take our last break right here, come back and do the cave on the other side. We'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. <laughs>